Thank you. We have had crews monitoring the conditions along the coast all morning long. West News' Megan Mulatto joins us from Flagler County, where we're told red flags are flying. Over here at the Flagler Beach Pier, we were seeing quite a bit of rainfall earlier this morning. That has since cleared up. The sun has come out, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the water is safe. We heard from officials with Ocean Rescue who say red flags will be flying all day. I just want everybody to stay safe. And if you're feeling uneasy, maybe it's not the best day to go into the water. Perrin Majewski with Ocean Rescue says not only will red flags be flying all day Friday, but they've been flying all week. We advise swimmers to take caution when they're going into the water. Even experienced swimmers, the strong undercurrent can still take them away, especially if they're not touching or making contact with the ground. High surf and strong currents seemingly the trend at beaches along A1A. The roadway and properties along it still working on recovering from Hurricanes Ian and Nicole. Crews have been bringing in sand, working on rebuilding the barrier as some homes, businesses and even the Flagler Beach Pier wait to be repaired. The pier still closed after Ian washed a big part of it away. Weather events like this making it harder to make progress. Despite the red flags, Majewski anticipates some locals and visitors will still be going in the water. She says she and her team will be standing by from boardwalk to boardwalk. We don't let people go out farther than we are comfortable with them being in. So if you hear our whistle, just follow the whistle, come back in. Don't make a fuss. We have your safety uh, in mind. In Flagler Beach, Megan Mulatto, Wesh 2 News.